hundreds of miles from Denver, rests hundreds of years of history. In San Luis, Colorado's oldest town, buildings wear the past like a badge of honor, worn but still standing. All these empty houses, you know, I mean, as I drive in, sometimes I'll say, oh, I remember, you know, who lived there, and, you know. For Rosa Lucero. Out. So this is my home from my beginnings. The need to preserve her Southern Colorado roots feels crucial. There's just so much history here that is so near and dear to my heart that I just, you know, as long as I'm alive, you know, the walls are gonna stand. In El Rito, a quiet corner of the San Luis Valley. San Luis? Yeah, 10 miles away. Lucero yeah. recalls a loud and entertaining tradition that once filled every household in the area. Yeah, they'd come to the store and, you know, my grandmother would, of course, open the door and they'd come in and, and uh, you know, and sing their, their versos. And, yep, I could just, you know, relive it right now. I mean, it's like I can, you know, it just takes me back. <laughs> With a strum of a guitar, Lucero watches her cousin Gilbert Guadalupe Medina transform into living history. Although the 87-year-old can't play the guitar like he used to, he can carry a tune this part of Colorado has known for decades. Put it together just on the spot. The hyper-local music is called versos, songs made up right on the spot by verseros. Popular versos are passed down through the years and sang by locals like historian Sam Medina. And the versos are a four-line quatrain where the second line and the fourth line rhyme. A lot of people became very good at uh, composing these uh, versos. And they actually... Uh, went from house to house and greeted, bring, brought in the New Year's and um, just shared good feelings and shared happiness. While versos were once very popular, musicians who still sing them are becoming scarce. Anybody that has heard me sing has told me to sing down by the river and far, far away. <laughs> yes, sir. So... I'm going to sing some versos for you. Sam's first audience ever is filled with two professors hoping it's not his last. Gracias. CU Boulder professor Dr. Susan Thomas is that right? and Dr. Sochi Chavez mm -hmm. are running CU's Soundscapes of Pueblo, a project recording historic music tailored to this territory. The long-term goals of this project is the fact that people will be able to have access and have something tangible to listen, see, and maybe touch in some way, right, um, the, the items of their heritage, of their roots, right, and building identity. We have a history and a culture that is very rich in tradition and customs and values, and we should be proud of that, not let it die down. But as the music fades and the village is once again quiet, I thought it was important to show up. And Lucero is reminded why documenting those musical memories is essential. <laughs> Beautiful! It needs to be preserved and shared and acknowledged and, you know, and, and for the future generations. She knows while ancestors pass and buildings crumble, yep. the rich and powerful traditions that surround them will stand. Just lots of beautiful memories. Jalisa Rosari, <laughs> Nine News. You ever like you learn something new and you just feel like all oh, cool because you learned something new? That is really neat. CU plans to record a variety of Latino artists over the coming months. So those digital archives will be available in the school's digital library and will also be available at CSU Pueblo.